LCAT was developed to meet an identified need for consistently collected data on land condition. There's plenty of methods around, they're great methods, but one of the key things was uh, getting that consistency and getting repeatable data that if you go and collect information in one area and I go and collect information in another area, we both know what we're looking at. We, we can both compare that information and it's consistent and repeatable. It's very important that we came together as a team today because we've got quite a few new staff members, but we've also got quite a few very ex experienced staff members and it's important that we all come together to share the knowledge that we have about pasture systems and rangelands and our understanding of the LCAT tool. We're going out there to collect data across the rangelands, often as individuals, but we need consistency in the data that we're collecting. Everyone needs to be on the same page with how they're collecting the information out there in the paddock. We use LCAT to give us surety about the actions that we're taking. We're working with taxpayer funding. It's important that that's prioritised to the parts of the landscape and the catchment that'll enable us to do the most good. We want to keep as much soil in place as possible. We want to recover degraded parts of the landscape. LCAT gives us metrics to enable us to prioritise sites to work on and properties to work on, but it also enables us to demonstrate that we've actually achieved something. So it enables us to set up monitoring sites that show us the state of the land and the paddock or the area of interest before our work was implemented. And then over the years subsequently, we can then demonstrate changes that have happened as a result of the management or the project that we've applied. Thank you, Drive Tropics uses LCAT for our projects in conjunction with many other NRMs and other delivery agents throughout Queensland so that we all have a consistent pool of data that we can reference. The information we collect from the LCAT is always shared with our graziers and we also have graziers who actually use the LCAT tool themselves to get a better system of monitoring on their property so they can check the trends of their land condition. The information is really important for them because they can see how the condition of their pastures are changing through time. If we do one every year like we should try to do, at the same time each year we really get a good picture of whether the condition of the land is improving and therefore becoming more productive with more resilient species or if it's decreasing and therefore less resilience, more bare patches, poorer grasses and therefore less production. So those trends are really important. Doing regular LCATs like once a year is where the real value comes in. Landholders are on the land all the time. They're constantly driving around um, and they're looking at it every day. I always tell producers that when we're talking about land condition and the sort of skills that come with our tool like this, it's all about reading your country. So looking at what species are there, looking at what's growing in response to certain seasons, is the country improving in, in the types of species that are growing there or going backwards? There are indicator species that can tell you if you're making progress with the way that we're managing our cattle and managing our land, or are things starting to slip a little bit? And knowledge is power. So if you've got a good picture of what's happening on the ground over the years because change is slow in the rangelands. If you've got a good picture of what's going on then, then you're able to act and adjust your management accordingly.